A while ago, we looked at bridging through 10. We're now going to extend that to bridging through a multiple of 10. So let's recap bridging through 10. If we want to do 7 plus 5, we don't want to have to go and count up 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What we want to do is get, get quicker by doing a jump straight to our special number, 10. So what we do is we put 7 in our head and we know that we've got to add on 5. What we want to do is get to our special number of 10 in our head. We know very well that it's those three fingers that go with 7 to get to 10 in our head. So we'll then have 10 in our head and the two fingers that are left over and so we will have our answer of 12. Now we can do exactly the same idea if we're dealing with something like 37 plus 5. What we're going to do is put 37 in our head and we know we need to add on 5. Now this time we won't get to 10 in our head, we're going to get to the next multiple of 10, which will be 40. But because we know 7 and 3 make 10, we know that these three fingers will go with 37 to get us to 40. So they will then get 40 in our head, but still have two fingers up, and so our answer will be the same as 40 plus 2, which is 42.